what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here so in this video here we're going to mostly be talking about maxine but before i dive into maxine and the updates regarding the lawsuit or the alleged allegations in this lawsuit from a crew member against mia goth and ty west and a24 and also confirming the release date which is coming out this summer as me as a uh, michelle monaghan was speculating on as i again pointed out she likely was just recalling something she heard in the past before i go into that i'm going to touch on final destination 6 really quick so craig perry put out this post on it looks like facebook today he said after a long hard slog through the pandemic and the strikes day one is finally in the can 2025 will mark the 25th anniversary of the release of the first installment in the franchise to honor the occasion with another worldwide theatrical release in imax no less is a rare and wonderful thing i'm wholly grateful for the opportunity and humbly appreciate the sublimely talented team or the sublimely talented team that has worked so hard to bring this to life see you next year P.S. I know, I know, Pet Cemetery Bloodlines, but this is the title we've had for three years and we're keeping it for now. So it gives me hope that the title is going to change. Not that I really care one way or another. I'm going to be seated. I know a lot of you are going to be seated. We haven't had a Final Destination movie in over a decade. And to know that this film is going to be an IMAX has me excited as well. It's nice to know that they did start shooting yesterday because that's what the reports were for several months i pointed that out back in january that the filming dates were 100 percent locked in and they seem to have not had any hiccups with making the start date of yesterday so they started filming on march 4th we don't know who the cast is outside of tony todd but i'm certain we will find that out probably this week or as production gets deeper so shifting gears over into maxine so we're going to talk about the release date but before i get into that we're going to talk about this lawsuit so Radar Online claims they have obtained court documents related to the lawsuit and it details briefly Mia Goss response to this, Ty West's response, and I guess some other people involved with it, A24, their response to it. So let's start from the top. This all started back in January. And according to this headline from Radar Online, Mia Goth is fighting a $500,000 battery lawsuit brought by Maxine Extra over alleged kick on set. Actress Mia Goff denied the allegations she intentionally kicked the film Extra on the set of her upcoming horror film and then belittled him in the bathroom. According to court documents obtained by Radar Online, Goff asked a Los, a Los Angeles Superior Court judge to dismiss the claims brought by a man named James Hunter. As Radar Online previously reported, earlier this year, Hunter sued Goff, director Ty West, and A24. In the lawsuit, Hunter claimed he worked as a background extra on the upcoming film Maxine, the third film in the series featuring X and Pearl. Hunter claimed Goff kicked him in the head during a scene. The man claimed it went down during a late night shoot. Hunter said he was playing dead for hours while wearing a robe and covered in fake blood from head to toe. The extra said the conditions were rough and he had to endure ants and mosquitoes. Per the lawsuit, Goth, the lead of the film, was instructed to run past the extra, step over him, and stare, and then continue to run. Hunter said Goth was not being careful and kept nearly stepping on him during the takes. Now, nearly is in quotations. The extra said Goth was warned by the staff to not step on Hunter. He said, he said she then intentionally kicked him in the head with her boot. Hunter said the kick caused him serious pain, pain and stiffness in his neck. He said he later learned from his doctor that he suffered a concussion. Hunter associated or accused Goth of targeting him after the incident. He said she came up to him in the bathroom and taunted, mocked, and belittled him. The drama didn't stop there. Hunter claimed the fake blood the crew put on him stuck to his body and caused pain when taking off. Hunter said he wasn't asked to return to the set after the incident with Goth. He demanded $500,000 in damages for alleged battery and wrongful termination. In her newly filed response, Goth argued if any of the allegations in the complaint occurred, which defendant denies, then each and every cause of action alleged against defendant therein is barred because plaintiff consented to and approved all the acts and or omissions about which plaintiff now complains. Further, Goff said any damages allegedly suffered by Hunter were not proximately caused by any acts or admissions of her. Goff asked that all claims against her be dismissed and her attorney fees be covered. The director and A24 both denied all allegations of wrongdoing in their recent filed responses. A judge has yet to rule. So I guess that's the latest update on the lawsuit allegate on the allegations from this lawsuit that spawned back in January. 
that Goth, Ty West, and A24 both denied all allegations of wrongdoing in their recently filed responses with this lawsuit. I feel like I'm back in Jeepers Creepers 4 territory talking about lawsuits related to an upcoming horror film and with Maxine of all things. That was the last thing I had expected to be talking about on this channel. We're now gonna shift gears into addressing this release date. So Online Ceramics had a leak that came out on Reddit a few weeks ago, a couple of days ago at this point, where it was a poster for Maxine had the mark of the beast it had the pentagram that i've been hyping up to you guys about how it's correlated to the movie and it's very important to the killer and what they're doing and how they refer to it as the mark of the beast or something like that uh, and then it had the release date on it of july 5th 2024 one of you reached out to someone with online ceramics in a discord server sent me screenshots of the convo where this alleged employee told you guys that it was fake and i proposed in the video why wouldn't they say that if it was a legitimate leak talking to you and you sharing it with me that only validates them lying about it because you're sharing it with me so then if they're saying that it's fake at least you're sharing something with me that says it's fake and not an employee saying hey yeah this leak is real wouldn't that jeopardize their job and i expected them to lie because i said there's a good chance that this is just real and they're lying to protect it and that's sure enough what happened because deadline fangoria bloody disgusting other outlets have been reporting today maxine will 100 percent be dropping on july 5th of 2024 just so just let that be a lesson if you're going to reach out to an employee and expect them to tell you if a leak is real or not I'm not saying that all of them are gonna lie to you, but they're probably gonna lie because it wasn't supposed to be out there to begin with. It was a leak. We weren't supposed to know about it. So that's why I proposed it in my last video, but it's nice to know that we can expect to see Ty West's Maxine in theaters this July. I've already requested time off for it because that whole week is gonna be dedicated to that trilogy. Me watching Maxine a few times, probably making a lot of videos and just reviewing it i'll have a spoiler free review spoiler filled review i'm probably not going to have two reviews for many movies this year maxine is going to be one where i definitely want to do a spoiler free and a spoiler filled review possibly also just dissect what they could do next since we know that an idea apparently is in ty west's head but let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications and never miss a video in the description i'll have links on my social media accounts i am on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there to let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video